The Bell AH-1 Cobra is a single-engine attack helicopter, also known as the Huey Cobra, or Snake. The Cobra was developed from the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. The Bell UH-1 Iroquois, also known as the Huey, was widely used during the Vietnam War. The Hueys were however very vulnerable to enemy ground fire. They had to be escorted by armed helicopters. Bell had been investigating dedicated helicopter gunships for a while, and got the Army interested in the concept. The first version was a modified Model 47, which was designated the Model 207 Sioux Scout. It had a tandem cockpit, stub wings for weaponed and a chin-mounted gun turret. The Army liked the model, but felt it was too small, and underpowered. The Army then launched the Advanced Aerial Fire Support System competition, which later was cancelled in favor of the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program. Bell decided to develop their design to the Model 209, which used the engine of the UH-1, combined with the design philosophy of the Sioux Scout. It was operated by a pilot and a gunner, seated in tandem. They were protected by armor. The 209 went into production as the AH-1, but not without modifications. The retractable skids were replaced with fixed skids. The rotor blade was modified, and a plexiglass canopy replaced the armored glass canopy of the 209. Later, the tail rotor was repositioned to the left side. The first AH-1G Cobras began combat testing in Vietnam in late August 1967, and the first combat unit was operational October 6, 1967. The AH-1 most commonly provided fire support for ground forces, and escorted transport helicopters. They were also paired with OH-6A scout helicopters, to form hunter-killer teams, where the OH-6 drew fire and the Cobra attacked the enemy once it had revealed itself. Over 1,100 Cobras were produced between 1967 and 1973, and approximately 300 were lost during the Vietnam War. The AH-1 would go on to be used in many conflicts over the years. It has been involved in Grenada, the invasion of Panama, and in the first Gulf War as well as in Somalia. The single-engine AH-1s were phased out of the U.S. Army during the 1990s. The Army Reserves used it until September 2001. The AH-1G has been used by several countries over the world, including Israel, Japan, and Pakistan. It remains in service in some of the countries. Upgraded versions of the Cobra have been developed, such as the twin-engined AH-1 Super Cobra and the experimental Bell 309 King Cobra.